Hello dear goinkans. I hope everybody is fine. Dear kids, in this video we are going to learn one more method of finding the factors and that method is called factor tree method. This is associated with exercise 6 of your book and factor tree method gives us the factors as the multiplication and as div and division method. First question is find the factors of the numbers then list the common factors. If you remember we have already done we have already found the common multiples. And what we used to do there, first we used to find the multiples of the two and then we check which one is present in both. Likewise, we will be doing here, we will find the factors of both the numbers, then we will check which of the factors is present in both. You can make use of any of the fact, uh, methods, be it multiplication or be it division. Here we have made use of multiplication method. And here you can see the fact factors of 4 are 1, 2 and 4 and factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8 and the common that means the numbers present in both are 1, 2 and 4. It means 1, 2 and 4 are the common factors of 4 and 8. Likewise for B part this is 6 and 8 we find the factors of 6 and then we find the factors of 8. For 6 we have 1, 2, 3 and 6 and for four, 8 we have 1, 2, 4 and 8 and here we can observe 1 is present in both and 2 is present in both. That means 1 and 2 are the common factors of 6 and 8. Next question is a book work. And here you can see the question is that complete the two factor trees of 16. There the factor trees have been already drawn and we need to fill in the boxes. Right? And we factorize 16 in such a way here that the two numbers, that the two branches that come out, their product is 16 again. Then we factorize 8 in such a way that the two f numbers that are here will give the number 8 as their product. And likewise we factorize 4 in such a way that the two numbers that we write here in its branches will be the same number back. The word factorize means to find out the factors. Here what we are doing we are factorizing 16 that means we are finding the factors of 16. And the two factors are found in such a way that their product is the, the number back. Okay. And we always start from 2, then 3, then 4, then 5. We need to check which number, the number is divisible by which number. Here you can see 16 is already divisible by 2 and 2 is already written there on the book. We need to just fill in the boxes. So in the first box we write 8 because we know 2 8s are 16. We can also find out this number by dividing 16 by 2 and you know that 2 8s are 16 so writing 8 in the box. Likewise if we divide 8 by 2 we get 4 so we write 4 here. So the number in the box can be obtained by dividing this by this. Same is the case for part B where 16 is factorized as 4 into 4. We don't know what is in this box. We know here it's 4. So when we divide this 16 by this 4, we get 4 as the quotient that we will write here. Next we know 2 into 2 is 4. So we write this 4 here. And we know 2 into 2 is 4. So we write this 4 here. This way we can factorize 16. Next question is, make factor trees for the following. Here we will learn how to draw the factor trees of the number. We factorize a number in such a way that the numbers that we write here, they give the same number back as the product. Okay. So we start from 2. When we start from 2, I know that 8 is divisible by 2 and 2 4s are 8. So next number is 4. Now we will factorize this 4. We know that 2 2s are 4. Had this 4... 8 not divisible by 2 then we would have skipped 2 and moved to 3 okay and here you can see the b part 20 is to be factorized we know that factor, uh, 20 is divisible by 2 so we write 2 into 10 because 2 into 10 is 20 so we write down 2 and 10 and then we factorize 10 again as 2 and 5 we have other two parts also on the book. It's 15. And when we check 
by 2. I know that 15 is not divisible by 2. So we skip 2 and move to 3. And we know 15 exists in the table of 3 and 3 5s are 15. So the two branches will be 3 and 5. So the factor tree of 15 would be like this 3 and 5. And for D part which is 21 the factor tree would be 3 and 7 because I know 21 is not divisible by 2. It's divisible by 3 and 3 7s are 21. That is why we write 3 and 7. We write these two numbers. We write such two numbers here that their product is the number back. We write such two numbers here that their number, the product is the number back. This is how we draw the factor tree of a number. This was all from this video and we have discussed exercise 6 here in this video completely. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.